toured this rack this morning, right? I uh, found it with some other bits and pieces and parts and stuff on a bike that had been laying on the side of the canal or the side of the river right, that we saw last night. That, uh, we tried to find last night in the dark, but couldn't. I was in the wrong place. But this morning it was there. And on his friend was like, there it is over there. Right, so I walked all the way around and grabbed it and then brought it back. At that point, it, it, you know, it was a found bike at that point. Right? And uh, they were holding this rack on right, right here with a bunch of duct tape, uh, electrical tape and some other shit. And they had the wrong screws in. And they had, on this other side over here, they had a, they had a, a self-tapping bolt. And on this side, they had a Phillips head screw that was holding together. And they were all bent all funny. Well, now this friend is here, he's studiously using his... It actually goes there. Using his camp hatchet. And he's flying here pliers, straightening him, straightening everything out. And he's little, you know, straightening it out. How you doing? Straight, doing all right. Straightening out these little arms right here so that he can move the whole thing forward. Right, and make it level. So this is a serviceable, usable rack. Now this is the kind where you can... You can, you know, like, like hang paneer bags on it or something, or you can make your own kind of paneer bags. Right, he was telling me yesterday that we could get a couple of kitty litter boxes from Lowe's with lids, right, and some quick ties and poke some holes, and we can hang them from right here, square down, and quick tie them here, and then we'd have some, you know, hard paneer with lids, which, which is a great idea. I mean, you, you got that from YouTube, huh? I, I got that from on Squat the Planet. I got that from a chick on Squat the Planet, the website called Squat the Planet. But this this one's got a little thing, you know what I'm saying, for hanging for your reflectors or your big the lights. But he's definitely working at it right here. He's gotten the he's got these little straps pretty straight. You're missing all the fucking bolts though. Uh, they're, they're not the right ones? And it's missing them. Well oh, it's you're missing supposed, them. Supposed to have two on each side. Two on each side? That to hold the strap in. Yeah. Uh, it's a Von it's a Voyager, that's the name of it. It's a Voyager. Uh, max 18 kilograms is the maximum weight on it, it says right here. Yeah, but you get the $25 ones that look just like this at the real bike shops, that can hold 100 pounds. That can hold 100 pounds. Uh, he's, he's got these fancy little brass screws that he found a while back that he put in there, you know what I'm saying, to fit in the little hole, so you know, he's styling right here. Yeah, got... I can't grab anything though, so I have to pick the bike up. Let me hold the bike up right here. Oh. The, this one's fucked up bad. Uh, screwdrivers and you know, Phillips and shit, you gotta have the things lined up, otherwise, you just end up with a uh, round hole. <laughs> uh, That's what we're dealing with here is a round hole. Uh, what we're dealing with here is a tweaker. This is a tweaker, a tweaker fix, is what we're dealing with. Uh, but look, look, he got straight, he got this one. This one is really he straightened it out really good with the line head tires. Yeah, that thing was bow. That thing had a, you know, like a 35 degree fucking arc in it. Coming up. These are nylon 